kind of crazy that we're approaching the end of May already, and that means the month of June, the summer of gaming. No, I'm not talking about the Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Fest thing, I'm talking about Nintendo, baby. Yes, we know we are getting a Nintendo Direct this June, and it's going to focus on the rest of the Switch games to probably end the console this year, which is also not super duper exciting, as we all know we're probably not getting anything super crazy, like a huge new Mario or Zelda or anything along those lines, but it does mean we could be getting some really cool, you know, more remakes, remasters, ports, and maybe some cool smaller games that we're not even thinking of. But there's still a lot of stuff to be hype about, and today I want to go through every little thing that could be announced for the June Nintendo Direct. There's a lot of stuff to dive into, so we're going to get started, but real quick, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Look how close we are to 300,000 subscribers. That is our current goal, and we are getting closer and closer, and let's make it like a big thing so that way we hit 300,000 right when Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door comes out. I mean, that would be awesome. One of my favorite games of all time. What better way uh, for that to happen? But thank you so much for tuning in, and let's dive into what this June Direct has in store for us. So let's start off with nothing but ports, remakes, and remasters, because I think that's exactly what a lot of this Nintendo Direct is going to be. Once again, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy with this, but you know what? It's the fact that the Switch is on its last legs and that we're getting anything still is kind of crazy. So let's just be happy with what we could be playing that could be coming back from the past. So of course we gotta start off with Zelda, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD. Are they happening? Is it possible? I really hope so. I would not be able to even try to believe that the Nintendo Switch went seven, eight years without having Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on it. That just seems wrong. There's just no way they could do that. Um, so yeah, also considering the fact that there's been no Zelda games this year and Nintendo likes to normally have at least some type of Zelda game every year, so it makes sense. You could also do an Ocarina of Time remake. I know a lot of people have been kind of hinting at that for a while. Um, I would love something like that, you know, like they did with the 3DS, but just, you know, blast it up even higher and make it look even better. I would probably even want to wait for the next console for something like this to make it look just even better than what this current Switch could do. But I think an Ocarina of Time remake would be awesome. And then the only other Zelda thing that I've been hearing about that would also make sense is the Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages games both getting a remake for the Nintendo Switch. So that would be awesome as well. They could be in the style of Link's Awakening, a top-down 2D style of Zelda, which I would love. And I think it's almost time for another one of those top-down classic style of Zelda games. Uh, so any of those would definitely work. And I could see, you know any of those being a potential candidate, and I'd actually be extremely surprised if none of them happened. In fact, I'd say it's almost a 100% chance that one of these games are going to happen, at least one of them. It's Metroid time, baby. Yeah, we gotta get some type of Metroid Prime remaster up in here. You know, we've got the first one already. It was amazing, everyone loved it. Where's Prime 2 and 3? They don't have to be as beautiful as Prime 1 came back as. Just like maybe some slightly enhanced ports would be fine as well. We just want to see Prime 2 and 3 on the Switch before Prime 4 comes out. It'd be very weird to release 1 and just say, you know what, here, skip all these story segments and let's just jump to 4. They have to release 2 and 3 and I think now is the perfect time. I think they could even be a collection pack. It'd be very weird though to say, hey, here's Prime 1. But then 2 and 3 is in its own separate pack, so yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they're still doing one at a time and we only get Prime 2, but I think it's a 100% chance also that we get one of these games. Now there's been one slight rumor suggesting that we could get something Mario and Luigi related, which actually would be phenomenal, and it could be a remake of an older game once again, or some people even said they would love to see a collection pack of maybe just a couple of games all together, or all the games all together somehow. I, I doubt that, highly doubt that they would give us all those games, I think there's like five total, so that's not gonna happen. But I know this is not the category that we were in, but it could be a new Mario & Luigi game. Could you imagine that being one of the bigger announcements? You know, after Mario RPG came back, Paper Mario has now officially came back the right way. What if Mario & Luigi made a grand return? Whether it was with Alpha Dream or another developing studio, I would absolutely just pass out because that would be just awesome. Just everything coming back and just the Switch is just really doing greatness for some of these series. Um, but yeah, I would love to see some type of Mario & Luigi game in some capacity because we've never gotten one on a home console. So I would just love to see what it even looks like in the first place. So. I'm just really holding out to some probably false hope that Mario & Luigi is still coming back in some capacity. Probably not. Now we also got some new patents for some games making return. 
For instance, we have Kirby and the Rainbow Curse on the Wii U getting a new patent, and let me also clarify that this isn't just a renewal of a patent, this is a brand new one, which is very suspicious, so we could be getting Kirby and the Rainbow Curse from the Wii U, which is a, a strange game to bring back, but it is a game that's still left on that older hardware, and will be gone forever, pretty much. So. What are we thinking about this one? I think it makes sense. You know, Kirby loves to have something every single year. Whether it's a small free eShop title or something just a small little purchase like a $5, $10 game. This seems like something Nintendo would do. You know, they don't really have anything slated for this year probably after just doing Kirby and the Forgotten Land two years ago. And then last year, Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Now, you can just port over, you know, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. It's something that's easy for them. It's something that can help pass the time as they continue to working on, you know, the next Kirby game. Makes a lot of sense. The other patent we got was for Stretch Mo, which is the Pushmo games. Um, so, a lot of people thinking it could just be a brand new Stretch Mo game, like Stretch Mo World, the way Pushmo World was for Pushmo. Um, or is it a big collection pack of all the games with Pushmo, Pushmo World, Stretch Mo, and even Crash Mo all together? That'd be awesome, or maybe it's just a brand new title altogether. But it looks like something's happening with that game as a new patent had been filed. Next up, we have a couple unrealistic ones, probably. Kid Icarus Uprising HD. Now, if this would finally become a thing, I, I don't, really don't know what else I could want from the past to come back, because like this is one of my few last ones that I've been really hoping for. And I think for Kid Icarus and the series altogether, it really needs to happen. On a very successful console like the Switch, this is when you actually want to bring a game like this back. You know, really get a lot of people on board with this and show them how good this game is because it's phenomenal. With a new control scheme that doesn't rely on you using a stylus and cramping up your palm, I would absolutely love to see this game in full high def. It deserves it. Sakurai even wants it to happen. Nintendo, it's up to you now. Make it happen. And another weird game to throw in here, Punch-Out could make a return from the Wii, since it's been since the Wii, since we've got a Punch-Out game. You know, if they're not going to make a new one, at least bring back the Wii title and just, you know, put it in HD and slap it on the Switch. I don't think it, any, it needs, like, any huge, drastic rehaul of an upgrade or, like, a complete from the ground up remake, rebuild, or anything like that. Just, you know, pump it up into HD and then throw it on the Switch. You know, show people, you know, what Punch-Out is and... You know, kind of give them invested into the series. This is how you get people invested into older series and see how, uh, what they think about it. And just a couple more. F-Zero GX had been rumored for so long now. Um, eventually, we got F-Zero 99 uh, on the Nintendo Switch Online. So, like, it's getting closer. We're, we're, getting, we're getting closer to that actual F-Zero game. Um, but I think it'd be perfect now to move on to the, you know, remake of F-Zero GX. See what people think. If people love that one, too then finally move on to a new F-Zero game. So I really would love to see this happen. I just played the game this year for the first time ever and I love it. And I would love to have it on the you know, current hardware with you know better graphics and playing online with it would be amazing. Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War had been rumored for so long now, it's just bound to happen. I'm almost going to say this is like a 90% chance of happening this Nintendo Direct. It just feels like it's the time for something like that, so I'm saying it's almost about time now. It's got to be time, right? And then the last game I could think of that would make sense would be something like Xenoblade Chronicles X. It's one of the last Wii U games that still has not made it to the Switch. So with that in Kirby, I think Nintendo pretty much cleaned up the Switch, or the Wii U, that is, as much as they possibly could. Um, so I'm really hoping uh, that we do see Xenoblade Chronicles X. We got all the other games on Switch already, so it would only just make sense. And this one is still a lot of people's favorite game. Uh, so yeah, make it happen, Nintendo. And I completely lied because I think there's also one more game that should come over maybe actually pr probably not which is Star Fox Zero Star Fox Zero is not a bad game whatsoever and I'm tired of people saying that it is it's just I think I'd rather them just completely make a new Star Fox game because it's like the sixth Star Fox game that has the same story and you know it just kind of you know, it's a very safe Star Fox game. It's one that a lot of people are going to easily forget. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time to just make a new one. Although, it still would be nice if this is truly the end of the Switch's life cycle. Just hurry up and get this game out before it's just, like, stuck on the Wii U forever. Um, especially since there has not been a Star Fox game since. It would just make the most sense. What about brand new games? Now, this Direct is not going to have no new games. Let's just get that straight. Yeah, I know I said it's going to be primarily ports, remakes, and remasters, and that's just what I'm expecting. We don't know what this is going to be, so there's still a chance that we could get some new titles even though they aren't huge ones. So, for this being the end of the current Switch, I'm expecting a few little surprises, especially since we don't have any holiday title announced yet. But there has been code names and patents for a 
inherently a new Mario Party that definitely could be in the works. Um, it makes sense. It's about the same time frame and weight as from the last couple. Um, it's time for a new Mario Party. So, yeah, this is probably going to happen. I can see this being Nintendo's holiday title, you know, if they don't have anything really huge this year as we're waiting for Switch 2. Um, yeah, everybody loves Mario Party, um, unless it's Super Mario Party. So, if this is Super Mario Party 2, hopefully, you know, they learn their lessons from uh, Mario Party Superstars, where they went back and just kind of remade the past boards and mini games and saw what made Mario Party good in the first place. Hopefully, we just get some nice, good sized boards, uh, fun mini games, and a big roster of characters. I don't think you can go wrong with that. We are due for another Mario sports game. Do we want one though? That's the question to ask because the last three, really all the sports games on the Switch have been pretty bad. And it looks like they're always coming out half-baked, unfinished, and they're trying to throw in what they call updates and DLC for free when it's just adding more of the actual game to the game. So if there is another Mario sports game, for one, they don't really have time to throw out some extra updates and stuff for the next year. If the new Switch is coming, like there's no updates to this thing. There's no additional things added. It needs to be done, base roster and all, from the ground up, done, when this game comes out. Obviously, it just makes sense if it's a Mario baseball game or even Mario basketball, I think makes the most sense. So I'm hoping that they at least go with one of those. It's been so long. Uh, please, no more tennis, no more golf. As much as I love golf, no more golf. Um, I hope it's just one of those. It makes sense. If it is Mario baseball, give us a huge roster like you did with Super Sluggers and just go all out. Please, just end the switch with a bang with the only good Mario sports game, please. That's all we could really ask for. We could get a new, smaller, eShop-like Kirby game. Um, if it's not Kirby in the Rainbow Curse, something else like Kirby the Fighters or Kirby Battle Royale, one of those games could make a return. They always do that. You know, the next one, the next one. Uh, some type of smaller eShop Kirby game. It just makes sense. Um, but yeah, I still have my money based on Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. But just in case that doesn't happen, there could be something else that's maybe a lot smaller. Um, but also, Rhythm Heaven... This is a weird one, I know. I'm, I'm just go all over the place here. It's been super quiet. It's definitely time for a new Rhythm Heaven title, and they've all sold pretty decent. I'm actually surprised that we haven't seen a single Rhythm Heaven title on the Switch. It's time for a new Rhythm Heaven. This is probably, once again, the perfect time for something like this. Let's see it, Nintendo. Now, if we're talking about some big games that can still be coming to the Switch, there's only two that I could think of that would be considered pretty big for the rest of the year. A new Donkey Kong game, whether it be 2D or 3D, would be a big deal. I don't think it's going to happen. I think whatever's going on with Donkey Kong and why we haven't seen one is because it's coming to Switch 2, I can hope. Uh, but it's just been so weird that Donkey Kong has just been MIA since probably one of the best Donkey Kong games ever. In my opinion, one of the best Nintendo games ever, Tropical Freeze. Um, and then they're just like, you know what? This game is amazing. Let's just throw that on Switch and do really nothing to it. So, yeah, it's kind of sad that we haven't seen Donkey Kong. That's really kind of the last hope because the only other one is Metroid Prime 4. And let's face it, it's not coming this year because, yeah, they would have to show something off about this game by now. They haven't even talked about it, hinted at it, showed any concept art, anything for Metroid Prime 4. So, yeah, there's like a fragment of a fragment of a fragment of a chance that this game comes this year. This is definitely a Switch 2 game, um, and it's going to be a while still until we see it, probably. So, yeah, that's the only possible two games, I think, that could be somewhat big coming to current Switch still that we could get. Now, what about huge future reveals? This is the last category. I'll make it real quick because I know a lot of people hate when I talk about stuff like this because they think there's no chance of it happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it out the way. Nintendo said no Switch 2 information during this Direct, and I get it. We're not going to see any hardware stuff, nothing about the release date of the Switch, probably nothing about a presentation announcement for Switch 2. It's going to be nothing whatsoever. But are Switch 2 games out of the question? Why would they have to be 100% out of the question. Yes, they said specifically Switch 2. They didn't say anything about the video games. And a lot of the time, if you just showed a trailer for a really cool looking game and didn't say anything about what console it's coming to, how in the world could that be, you know, th th I mean, that's possible, right? You know, they have a big game, you're watching a trailer, they just say, boom, 2025. Nintendo does this with almost every single Direct, some type of really huge game to look forward to. I think there's a chance. Could that definitely not happen? Of course not. I mean, there's a really good chance that that could not happen. But for instance, take Metroid Prime 4, for example. Maybe they do have new gameplay to show, and they know it's been so long, but they also know it's coming to the next console, like summer or maybe the end of 2025. 
But this is a perfect time to give off a trailer and just say 2025 at an end card at the end of it. It looks amazing. It looks cool. And, you know, naturally we can expect that to be Switch 2, but Nintendo doesn't have to say it. They're just like, boom, look at that. That looks cool. Done. You know, that's it. They don't have to say anything about Switch 2. They don't have to mention Switch 2. It's just a Metroid Prime 4 game. Why couldn't that be shown? And the same thing goes for 3D Mario or even Mario Kart if they are going to be a launch title for the new console. The rumor right now is 3D Mario. So let's take it right here. I know I've said this a thousand times, but look, if there is a big 3D Mario game, it has to be shown off soon. I mean, they're running out of time. They're running. The gap is getting smaller and smaller to advertise for this new game. Um, and they're not going to want to wait until the end of the year to reveal this huge, a magnificent 3D Mario game that's coming in just a couple of months. Like, there'd be no time to hype the game up and stuff. They need time to hype it up. And I feel like now's the time. So there still is a very slight chance that we could see the next huge 3D Mario or even Mario Kart at the end of the show as a last thing. And they're just like, boom, 2025. And they don't have to say anything about Switch 2. They can touch on it more later down the road when they do have that Switch 2 presentation. I think it'd be perfect. But of course... It is just, you know, hypothetically thinking right now, who knows? We're just going to have to wait and see, you know, if Nintendo does anything like that for the June Nintendo Direct. Remember, this video is just talking about all the possibilities that could happen, so... Just, just be a little bit more patient and see what Nintendo's going to do. But for the final verdict, this show is probably going to be pretty good. I think this is one that we all come out of and say, like, this is cool because right now we're tempering expectations. We know that Nintendo is indeed working on Switch 2 and that there will be a show and a presentation there's some sorts probably before the year is over. And we're going to be getting tons of information at the end of the year. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be awesome. So right now, this June Nintendo Direct, it just kind of feels fun. You know what I mean? Like, we could be sitting at a time where Nintendo's like, you're not getting anything until the end of the year when we talk about Switch 2. So we know that there's more Switch games coming. We know to be excited for some stuff. We know that there's a June Nintendo Direct that's going to be focused here soon, and it's going to be amazing. And we know not to expect anything massively huge. So I feel like this is going to be a really good Direct for a lot of people because our expectations are set. We know that we're just going into this thing to have fun. Who knows what the end of the Switch's life cycle is going to have to offer. And whatever we get, I'm sure is going to be a fun event and a fun time. So I can't wait. Of course, when they announce this thing, I will be on top of it. It's probably going to be announced within the next couple of weeks. We are already almost in June. So June's going to be a blast, but this week alone is going to be exciting because it is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door Week, baby. It's just three more days away. So if you pre-ordered it, if you haven't, if you're thinking about picking it up, who cares? Go pick it up. Stop thinking about it. No more thoughts. Just go pick up the game and support it. You're going to love it. It's an amazingly fun turn-based Mario RPG with an amazing story. So make sure that you dive into that this week. And uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about the game uh, if it is your first time. But thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave that like and subscribe to help us reach our goal. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.